Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com as well as your weather authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Wednesday morning forecast update. I apologize in advance. This will be a long update for us this morning, but uh, another round of severe storms will be possible today. And if you weren't affected by the storms last night, a lot of people were. We do have a lot of damage uh, across the Arkletex, including the Shreveport, Bossier metro area and we know there are still thousands of people without power and maybe without power today so uh, again we need your help today to kind of uh, get the weather message out and maybe alert folks that will, do not have power whose cell phones may die today and they just won't have a way to get weather warnings so we need everybody to kind of help out with the severe weather threat for us today that said uh, we do expect another round of severe storms today we had that impactful weather last night this is a completely separate round of storms that will be developing and moving through today so the severe weather setup for us, the yellow area, that's a slight risk. That's the same risk we were under last night. And we saw quite a bit of uh, possible straight line and tornado damage. We're under a slight risk today across most of the Arkletex, including Oklahoma and Texas, as well as Texarkana and the shreveport Bossier metro areas. So in the yellow area here, all severe weather hazards will be possible. Again, looks like the storms this morning could bring some hail and wind, but uh, by the late morning, early afternoon, it's possible we could get a few storms going here that could also bring a few tornadoes as well. More likely area for severe weather today, that's in that enhanced risk zone across Arkansas and northwest Louisiana. Generally, uh, here's I-49 right here. It's areas east of Interstate 49 and this is where we have higher confidence that we will see some damaging wind gusts. Uh, hail that could be larger than golf ball in size and a few tornadoes, a couple of those tornadoes could be on the strong side as well. And the uh, main time frame for severe weather in that enhanced risk area, I would say would be from about noon until 5 p.m. today. So let me go ahead and uh, just kind of tell you what you can do today. We are expecting a few more tornadoes to develop at some point. Uh, I want folks to not shelter in a mobile home. We do believe that there was a mobile home park in Bossier that uh, may have sustained some serious damage with the storms last night and always kind of urge folks to find a sturdier shelter. Again, mobile homes more susceptible to straight line winds as well as tornadoes. So uh, if you have a relative nearby, if there's a hotel, if there's a store even in town where you can ride out the storms today or maybe even uh, where you work, be sure to do that today, especially in those uh, hours between noon and 5 p.m. Enable the emergency alerts on your phone. I know a lot of folks last night, this is probably how they were alerted to all the tornadoes warnings that we had and of course you can download our weather authority app and make sure today if you know there's a storm headed uh, into a community that does not have power you may have some friends or family that live in that location go ahead call them text them say hey we've got some weather coming into your area over the next hours or so or so as i mentioned power's been out since last night in a lot of areas so folks may not have a way to charge their cell phones or get some weather warnings today so we just kind of need your help uh getting the word out if at all possible as uh, we do expect to see a few warnings whether they're severe thunderstorm or tornado warnings at some point this afternoon so the setup for us today we've got this strong cold front which is uh back in oklahoma and texas we also have a uh, dry line here which is uh, those two features which will basically be moving in and as those two features move into the Arkletex today it will uh, kind of enhance the threat for severe weather and all of the ingredients are still there we had that round of storms last night the atmosphere is going to have a chance to reload through the morning here you can see our dew point temperatures just like yesterday this is a measure of the humidity dew point temperatures in the 60s that's very conducive to severe weather and then uh, the dry air back here in west texas so everything kind of lining up including some warm air today as well so the atmospheric setup a lot like what we saw last night but uh, some even higher ingredients or stronger ingredients will be moving in with that cold front today your temperatures will likely start out in the 60s this morning staying breezy so we've got those south winds off the gulf of mexico the winds uh, behind the cold front today will turn to the northwest so you'll get that perfect perpendicular wind flow as you go up in the atmosphere and that's what creates the spin or the wind shear for severe weather and possible tornadoes today very breezy so we'll have those wind gusts to 35 miles per hour and uh, before the storms reach you will likely have temperatures today in the 70s and low 80s now I'll show you two different forecast models just to show you how they line up here this is uh the hr model and as we go through time notice it does show some scattered storms this morning but once we hit the noon hour today you can see that's when it really begins to uh bring the thunderstorms into the arkletex so we are showing the storms uh, really popping up between noon and 5 p.m today and any of these storms here would be the ones capable of those uh, severe weather hazards and as we uh, hit the afternoon hour 
hours also on your in-house Robin's Toyota Future Cast here. You'll notice it kind of depicts the uh, timing a little bit slower, so it's showing the storms popping up maybe 2 or 3 p.m. rather than pardon me, rather than noon today. Uh, but either way, this will be the impactful storms that we're expecting. And uh, again, both of the forecast models really show the severe threat winding down just prior to sunset tonight. So I think we can probably close the window on severe weather once we get uh, closer to sunset this evening, if not uh, even before 5 or 6 p.m. today. Now, we did have some heavy rain overnight from Shelby County up through Sabine, Natchitoches, DeSoto, and Red River Parishes. Radar showing about 3 to 5 inches of rain uh, down here across the very southern half of the Arkeltex. So if we see some additional heavy rain there today, it will be uh, possible that we see some flash flooding develop. Again, the storm's probably moving quick enough that we won't see any flash flooding further to the north, but obviously can't rule that out given we did see some heavy rain last night. Uh, good news here is that we will clear out pretty quickly after sunset, some cool air dropping in. So a little bit of a shock after all the warm air over the last week or so will drop back into the uh, 40s tonight. So it will be a chilly night, but we'll rebound and have temperature here back into the 70s by tomorrow afternoon still have Friday as a relatively dry day now there are some storms coming in Easter weekend we'll obviously be talking more about those in the upcoming days we're kind of focusing today's energy on today's severe weather threat but I do believe once we hit the weekend we are going to have uh, maybe some of the ingredients there to see some high wind gusts especially with the storms on Saturday the weekend won't be a washout but we are expecting those scattered storms both Saturday as well as Sunday of course we'll have some more details on your Easter weekend in the upcoming days.